What's going on guys, it's Cameron here. In today's video, I wanted to show y'all my 36 gallon Bowfront Aquarium. First off, I do apologize for not posting anything about a week or so. I've just been busy, haven't been able to film and edit anything. I haven't got enough film to make a video really. So now I got some and I also wanna just do an update on my 36 gallon Bowfront Aquarium. So let's take a look and check it out. I hope y'all enjoy. guys so here's the tank here's my 36 gallon Bowfront aquarium um not too much has changed of course there's been some growth on the plants the crypts have kind of grown even more um the nubius nana in the middle there both of those have grown some new leaves i see probably one or two every couple weeks um the crypt petchy is taken off as you can see in the bottom right corner there's some right towards the front which is actually a piece from the ones in the middle that I put over there to see what would happen if I just took a piece off and put it. And it's taken off, it's growing four or five leaves, um, which I'm really happy for. I, uh, what else? Let's see, the Crypt Winty in the left corner is doing amazing. Some of the leaves on the bottom of them have a nice reddish brown color, which I love. It gives that little different coloration. I may be changing some of the uh, Crip Spiralis that's over there in the right corner. I feel like I'm bouncing all over the tank, I'm sorry. Um, may put some of that in the left corner because I feel like it's naked over here or I may go buy some more um, to throw over there just to give it, there's that huge open area and there's nothing there. So I may have to change, I may change that up. Um, what else is there? The Nubius, amazing, like I said. All the crypts. The Java Moss has gone. Most of the algae had came off of it already. Um, with the help of my Swordtails and Platys. And then, of course, me doing my water changes. I've been trying to do 50% once a week. Sometimes, it's probably every other week, I'll do an extra 40-50% water change just to give it some more to help clean clean the water and give it that. I mean, I really don't have to too much just because I do have two filters on this tank. It is overpowered with filtration. They're both maxed with the bio balls and bio media and sponges and floss and and the bio, the bio wheel on the marine land filter. So the filtration is really well. I don't, I'm not worried about that, um, but as you can see, all the fish are great. The quarries are doing awesome. Um, the skirt tetra are great. The phantom tetra are still my favorite, I think, just because I love the way the male, which he's right in the middle right now, going towards the right. I believe he's the alpha male out of the two males because he's the bigger He's the bigger one and he will dominate the whole tank. He even pushes around the skirt tetra. So I like him a lot. Um, it's really cool to see him kind of flare up and show off for the females as well. The Swordtails are doing great. I actually believe my Pineapple Swordtail, which is a female, she looks pregnant right now too. So hopefully in the next week or two we may see some more. Um, or I may, be able to, may have to get her out pretty soon just to see if I can keep more alive. But not too sure yet because I don't have another tank to raise the fry in so I kind of will probably just let them if they live or if they get eaten see how they survive because I do have one in this tank um there's one fry I believe it's been two or three weeks now since he's since I first saw him I haven't had a I haven't had enough footage of him to make a video on him so I'll show you a couple clips of him He's mostly black with some orange on the head and then the fins. So I guess that's why he's kind of blending in. He lives in the little cave for the most part. I have seen him eat when I, when I feed some uh, bug bites. I actually, a couple days ago, saw him pick at the bug bites. So he's finally starting to eat, I guess, more of the fish food instead of just algae but I have noticed that he still picks on the algae just like all the other platies and sword tails. Um, 
I just think he's the only one that survived because of his colors and because of the black substrate and then he can hide in that cave which keeps him safe and he'll also hide in the crypts in the front the crypt pechies right there I've seen him swim through those so he's pretty safe I think he's a good size now where he won't get eaten um, all the other fish are doing well the snails in here are keeping the algae down I mostly leave the sides and the back I never scrub it but the front glass I'll scrub it to keep it clean I do need to scrape the there's some nearite eggs on the left side towards the, like the middle left area that have some some nearite snail eggs right there that I need to clean off but as you can see the quarries are doing well there's actually four of them right there there's a couple others in here somewhere. It's really weird because, you know, they say they're schooling fish, and I know they are, which is why I had so many. I mean, I have six. I want to probably get one or two more. But most of the time, they're not all together. They'll stay separated by themselves. And then really the only time I see them together is random like this or when there's food. Um, but they don't really stay too too much together and I really do like the way the fish react now to my hand they're getting really, really used to me I also haven't fed them yet because of I wanted to make the video first get a bigger reaction of them coming in because if I already fed them they probably won't even care about me um, so yeah they don't even if I tap the glass just a little bit don't advise that but you know you know everybody does it they don't get spooked as much anymore. And they're all up swimming, wanting the food. So thought I'd do a little update since I haven't done anything in a while. I apologize again. If y'all like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you like something in this tank, let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know if you think I should change something about this tank or add anything to the tank. Um, I'm up for anything, let me know. And I'll see if I can get that plant or fish or maybe change the aquascape up. I, Whatever y'all think I should do, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate y'all watching, guys. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more content. I promise I'll be posting more. I got another video probably tomorrow or the next day I'll be doing on the 10-gallon tank. I'll be rescaping it. Uh, probably so yeah guys so thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed see y'all next time